Well, Jake, you guys talked about it coming out of game two. How much uh, you look forward to coming back to the Garden? How did that go? Good. It's always uh, it's always rocking when we come back home, and I mean, it's fun to play here, and uh, we responded well. Now, there are a lot more shots on both sides of the equation. What was the difference in game three than the first two? I think there's a little more of an emphasis of, of putting pucks on net and crashing the net. Um, we got a couple, couple better looks. I think we can uh, still do a better job, and Igor played a great game. Oh, he sure did, and there's a little more percolation too. It looks like a bit of an edge uh, to the hockey game. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's playoff time. It's uh, it's fun. I mean, we're we're not going away easy. I, I tell you that uh, we've we've shown that all year, and we're gonna come back game four and try to even this thing up. Now again, you're up one after two in game one. Did, uh, what did your team learn from that? Uh, it's tight checking all over the ice. I think uh, playoffs are. Bit of a different animal. I think there's there's not a lot of easy ice, and when it's time to clamp down and play D, sometimes uh, the best play is just advancing it out of the zone, advancing it into their zone. Doesn't always have to be pretty. It's just taking care of the puck and, and making the safe play sometimes. And you're quite involved in the penalty kill also, and it was another good night in the penalty kill. Yeah, especially there at the end, that was uh, that was a big one we needed. So uh, a lot of guys come up, big block shots. Foxy, uh, Lindy's been doing it all year. Um, I think uh, the key have a big one. Someone had another one there, but I mean, every, everybody's doing it. It's, uh, that's what you need this year from from everyone to buy in, and guys did that tonight. And you mentioned Key, Key Andre, obviously, and um, you know, a bit of a playoff Nia fight, but boy, the two of you seem to work well together. Yeah, he's great. I mean, he's uh, I love playing with him, and he seems to only be getting better. So um, he's got a great attitude. He loves the game, loves learning hockey, loves being around it, and asking questions to everyone. And uh, He's going to be a special player. I mean, I'd say he already is a special player, but uh, he's definitely trending up. Hey, you referenced Igor uh, earlier. It's nice to see him back in the rhythm. Yeah, that's uh, that's big for us. We need him. He knows that. I think we know that. He's uh, he's our wall back there, and when, uh, when we need him come up big, he does. A lot easier to regroup off a win, too, right? Yeah, especially when you get home, sleep in your own bed. That's, <laughs> that's nice. So we'll be back, and uh, we'll be ready to go game four. Well, listen, keep up the good work. Thanks for stopping by. Great job. Thank you. Yeah, it was different. I don't think we ever played with that line combination necessarily, uh, but I thought he did a great job. Um, I mean, it was a, it was a 20-man effort tonight, so uh, yeah, a few, few line tweaks early on, but guys responded positively and just just worked. Chris, there's so often during the regular season you guys have generated some energy off of Igor's performances, especially early in the game. Would that, that feel like this tonight? Were you guys generating some energy off of the way he played, especially in the first, in the second, early in the second? Yeah, I mean, I think it's something that we've we've talked a lot about is how how much confidence he instills in us, um, especially when he's making hard saves look easy. Uh, with that being said, we have still got to uh, keep the foot on the gas when we get up. Can't can't sit back and let them generate chances and let them tilt the ice. So um, I want to continue to forecheck and uh, make it easier on the D and make it easier for Igor if, if we do get that lead. So in game one, you know, when you have that really unfortunate ricochet that ends the game. Obviously, you're not going to be able to always get the lucky bounces you want in the playoffs. But you know, how big of a deal was it to see the way the team responded to you know taking a lead and holding it for the entire game and really just having a different mindset this time around? Yeah, I mean, I think we sat back a little bit too much when we got the lead in that game as well. But uh, all three games have been been really, really close games. Could have gone either way, and you know that's playoff hockey. So you just got to continue to work for your bounces. Can you take us through your goal when you saw. Um. He did a good job down low. Um, came around the net, saw the defenseman didn't have a stick, and just tried to walk out. The last link to that 2014 team, what does it mean to, after everything you've been through the last few years to playing a game like this at the Garden, a, a meaningful playoff game to get a win? Does it, does it mean more to you, you think? Um, a lot of ways, 2014 feels like yesterday. And in a lot of ways, it feels like it was a long time ago, too. Um, I mean, things happen pretty fast in this league, so um, you want to try to take advantage of the opportunities that you have. Uh, but to be able to play playoff hockey in front of in front of these fans again, um, it's, uh, it's experience. It's hard to put into words, and just want to take advantage of the opportunity. Chris, is it even more important to score the first goal after losing the first two games? I think we want to score the first one in every game. We'd like to score the second one and the third one as well. And, Probably not stop there, try to get the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> you talked about playing in front of the fans. What kind of energy, what kind of um, emotion was it? Yeah, I mean, it's a terrific environment. Um, so into the game, so much energy throughout the entire game. So um, they've been uh, pretty instrumental in our starts here. And, um, you know, it's, it's easy to feed off the energy that the, the crowd brings. Did you, did you, you 
make many adjustments on power play off the first two games? Um, we didn't didn't see didn't really get a lot of looks in the first game. Uh, I don't think well, we had like 30 seconds, so um, then had a better idea of what they were trying to do in game two. Uh, it comes down to to our mentality, um, you know, getting in on pucks and competing, trying to win pucks and having more of a five on five mentality. In, in that power play, you guys scored. It looked like you guys were able to. I don't know if they just didn't pressure as much as they did in game two, or you were able to relieve that pressure a little bit. What, what do you think you guys were doing there? To, because they they were up on you guys on the walls and at the points in game two, but they weren't on that first power play. Yeah, I mean, it's a copycat league. Uh, I feel like everyone pressures on the kill, especially on initial entries and, and loose pucks, and that's a team that has been probably the best penalty kill in the league all year. Um, very effective at pressuring, so... Yeah, like I said, we just got to continue to support each other, have that five-on-five -five mentality, and try to relieve pressure. Um, you know, because if there's a loose puck, there's a puck on the wall, and you know they're going to be jumping. So, you know, to get set up, you need to you need to work for each other. Um, you need to have options, you need to have outs, you need to communicate, you need to skate. What did you make of the situation at the end of the game that Gerard fired up? After the whistle, or after I missed the empty net? Because the thing was fired up over both. <laughs> yeah, we're doing. Um, I think I was still hugging modern Santa Prayer, so I missed it. <laughs> I think we play now finally 60 minutes, and, and in first two periods we play how we want to play. In third period we didn't back off like the first game, and, and I think that was that the win was deserved. Phil, what did you make of the, some of the switches that Coach made tonight, and, and how did it change things for you going from to the wing and also playing with Mika and Kreider? I, this coach's decision, I didn't mind it. Uh, Kreider and Mika are top players in our team, and that was just uh, that was great adjustment. Uh, that was good adjust to play with them. Uh, I had a lot of great chances. We had as a line, we had a lot of good chances. We scored a goal. We had a, that was a penalty against, and then we scored a goal in the power play. So I think. The first two periods were great. Uh, we were playing in the uh, right way, and and that was good experience for me. When you say playing the right way, it seemed like you guys were playing fast, using your speed a lot, and shooting a lot. Was yep. that something you talked about before the game, or? Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, that was just natural. Just uh, we just went to the net. We were shooting a lot. We had, oh, I said, a lot of great chances. Uh, even when the, the that wasn't the best shot, we had a rebound and and we created some chaos there, and uh, that was the way how we play and and I think that that was the right way. Okay, is it more important to score the first goal after losing the first two games? Yeah, uh, of course we scored only one goal in Carolina. That was a uh, nice goal in power play. I think that gives a confidence to our top guys. And, and of course, you feel better when you're leading in a game. And, and I think we just build on that goal and, and playing good hockey. So you see Igor making saves early in the game today and it looked like he was dialed in right away. What does that do for the rest of you guys to know that he's, he's, he's on it early? He's doing that whole season. Uh, we know what he's capable of. Uh, he's one of the best goalies in the game, and uh, we just we just trust every second what they have him in the net. We just trust him, and and he just doing what he can do, and and yeah, he's he's unbelievable. But we we still have to help him, and and I think we did it today.